Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform photos into the look of oil paintings and how to replace your photos without having to redo the effects. I provided two Photoshop templates that you could download so you can follow along. Their links are in my video's description or project files. One is for vertical images, such as portraits, and the other is for horizontal images, such as landscapes. Each one includes a channel that gives us an inside shape to confine our painting. For this project, I'll be using the portrait template, so I'll delete the other template for now. Feel free to use either one. Before we continue, if you want to know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials, some mash that subscribe button and please remember to click like. Open a photo you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one and the others from Shutterstock. We'll place our subject onto the painting template. If your move tool isn't active, press V on your keyboard. Drag your subject onto the tab of the template. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. To size and position it, open the Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. At the top, make sure the chain link icon is active between the transform's width and height. This links them together. Place your cursor over the W or the H, and when your cursor changes into a scrubby slider, click and drag it to the left or right. Then drag it into position. To accept it, press Enter or Return twice, or click the check mark at the top. We'll convert our subject into a smart object, which allows us to modify it non-destructively and allows us to replace it with a different subject without having to redo the effects. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Artistic Folder and click Sponge. The brush size is 3, the definition is 0, and the smoothness is 10. Go back to Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. Unsharp Mask basically finds the edges of different tones and increases their contrast to make the image appear sharper. The amount is 100%, the radius is 3 pixels, and the threshold is 0 levels. Go back to Filter one more time, and again click Filter Gallery. Make the sponge brush size 2, and the smoothness 5. At the lower right corner, click the plus symbol, which adds another sponge filter. Click Under Painting, which replaces the sponge copy. The brush size is 0, and the texture coverage is 10. I'll choose Sandstone for its texture. However, feel free to experiment with the others. The scaling is 100%, the relief is 10, and the light is from the top. Make a copy of the Under Painting filter, and replace the copy with Dry Brush. The brush size is 0, the brush detail is 10, and the texture is 1. Double click the Blending Options icon next to the bottom filter gallery. If you see this, just click OK. The Blending Options window opens. In this window, we can change the blend mode and its opacity of this filter. We'll keep its blend mode normal, but reduce its opacity to 50%. Once we click OK, we can see the result. Double click the Blending Options icon next to the top filter gallery. Reduce its opacity to 80%. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Make the surface texture layer active. We want to place it above our subject. We can either drag it manually or we can press Ctrl or Command and the right bracket key on our keyboard. Change its blend mode to Overlay. Make your subject active and open the Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. 
Control or Command click the thumbnail of the Inside Shape channel to select its shape. Open back the Layers panel and click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection. We'll make a new layer below our subject by Control or Command clicking the New Layer icon. We'll fill the empty layer with a warm white color. Click the foreground color to open the color picker and in the hexadecimal field type in C E C C C 4. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. To fill the empty layer with the new foreground color, press Alt or Option Plus Delete. If you want to resize or reposition your subject inside the shape, click the chain link icon between the subject and the layer mask to unlink them. Make the subject active and open the Transform tool. If you see this message, just click OK. At the top, drag the scrubby slider to adjust the subject size. Lastly, I'll show you how to replace your subject with another. Double click the thumbnail of your subject to open the original photo. Go to File and place Embedded. If you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, click Open. Find and click the replacement image and click Place or Open. Place Embedded places it on your document and automatically opens the Transform tool. In earlier versions, drag the replacement image on top of your original photo and open your Transform tool. Adjust its size and position to your liking. Close the tab of the replacement photo and when you see this message, click Yes. To reposition it, open your Move tool and drag it. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.